In our last session, we read a letter from a woman whose husband, Don, had just gotten out of prison. They were in a store together, and when neither of them could produce a driver's license for the store clerk, Don blew up at his wife. I explained to her that when the clerk asked Don for his license, he was reminded of the shame and worthlessness he was carrying around with him from being an ex-convict. He turned to his wife for her license, hoping that she could rescue him from the situation. And when she couldn't, he realized he was trapped. He blew up at her because it briefly gave him a sense of power and a relief from his helplessness and shame. Now, back to the writer of the letter. So, now you know why he blew up. But you're still wondering why he became even angrier when he asked you, why didn't you bring your license? You said, I was just answering his question. Yes, you did answer his question, but you didn't answer his needs. When someone gets angry, as I said, they're afraid. And people become afraid only when they don't have enough what? It's always about real love. People without enough real love are filled with emptiness and fear. And people who are empty and afraid don't need explanations or answers. They need love. Now, yes, I know it did look like he asked you a question. <laughs> the sentence did end in a question mark. And you thought he was sane and actually wanted an answer to the question. But in reality, he wasn't asking a question. He was making an accusation. When he said, why didn't you bring your license? He was really saying that you were an idiot and that you were to blame for his pain. He did that only so he could feel a little less helpless for a moment. Now, it's regrettable that he had to attack you to achieve that bit of power and safety, but what else could he do? He didn't know how to love you, and he had to do something to relieve his pain. We all do that, and we learn how to love at the expense of those around us. It's the only thing we know to do. And right when he was angry, when he needed your love the most, what did you do? Not only did you answer his question, but you defended yourself. You explained why you didn't bring the license. And you said it wasn't your fault. You weren't just passing on information. You were trying to get him not to be mad at you. You were defending yourself, which is quite understandable. After all, he came at you angry and you became afraid. When somebody comes at you in anger, it's very hard to remember that they are just empty and afraid themselves. They're snarling and growling and saying unpleasant things to you and about you. And it's hard not to take all that personally. But the instant that you defend yourself, you separate yourself from your husband. You don't mean to, but the instant you say anything to defend you, your focus is on who? you and you can't be focused on loving him do you see that everything changes when you see that his attack is really not about you when you can remember that when you can remember that the person attacking you is just drowning suddenly you can climb out of the water now you're not drowning anymore with the other person and now you're in a position to do something different you're in a position to introduce some sanity into the situation. You're simply seeing what's going on gives you enormous power in any situation. It's miraculous. So now that you see what's happening and you can see that your partner is drowning, what exactly can you do? We'll talk about that in the next session.